What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp and today I'm going to be doing a little tabletop review of this Ruger Single 6. So this should be a pretty cool little review so let's get right into it. So, like I said before the intro rolled, we are going to be reviewing this Ruger Single 6. So, first of all, let me tell you just a little bit about um, this one itself. This is Ruger Single 6 in 22 Magnum. Um, they come in 22 Magnum, 22 Long Rifle, and 17 HMR. And I believe they come in another one. Um, three something. Uh, they're smaller caliber pistols. Um, so... That's the first thing I want to talk about. The second thing I want to talk about is kind of the model differences. So this one is um, what they call an older style Ruger single six. So this doesn't have a transfer bar. What that transfer bar is pretty much an extra safety mechanism uh, which slides up in front of the hammer which stops it from hitting the firing pin um, when it's in decock like this. Um, the newer models have that. The older models don't. That was kind of a problem when the older models, you weren't supposed to carry them loaded for that very reason. Hammer might smack it a little bit and they might go off, which is not something you want to happen while you were just riding around or doing whatever you're doing in the 50s to the 70s uh, before they put that transfer bar in. So this is a pre, um, like pre-model. So there's that. Um, second or third thing I want to bring up is this probably won't be the most technical review out on YouTube of this pistol. I'm sure there's a million other ones that will get in the nitty gritty detail. Um, I'm not even 110% sure on the price range of this one. Um, I was having a hard time finding exactly how much these older models go for and really nailing it down. Um, so if you want to comment down below if you know, I would be all ears. Um, I'm always interested in learning more about the stuff I review, but this is kind of more of an opinion-based review, not really the most technical thing. So if you, like I said, if you're coming here for the most technical review, you're probably in the wrong spot. Um, so let's get right into the review of the actual pistol. Um, it has nice, it's all black finish. Um, they do have a variety of um, different colors, combinations, whatnot. Um, when I was doing my research online prior to making this video, I did find all kinds of stuff about different models, um, like the stuff they're coming or they have come out recently, um, different colorways, all kinds of different stuff. But this is more of the traditional colorway, the black. Um, and then you, so you got your black grips, you got your Ruger symbol, which I think is like completely awesome. Um, then you have your cylinder. The cylinder can be changed out. So I know you, it can be changed out to 22 long rifle. You just push this little button in down here on the other side of it, pull this pin out, and the cylinder pops right out. This one can be a little sticky sometimes. Uh, so I'm not going to do it on camera. It can be a little rough. It doesn't just gracefully fall out. Okay. Um, this is single action. So Ruger single six. So you'd think single action. Um, it holds six bullets in the chamber, uh, which is nice. Um, it's more of the traditional like cowboy shooter, really. Uh, you pop this little little side piece over right here. Forgive me for not knowing the actual name of the side piece. Uh, you'll be all right. Uh, but you pop it over, and you can load here, which is nice. You just pop them in, boop, boop, boop. Or you can um, eject them here, and you have this nice little lever here on the end. And you just line it up with your, um, your I want to say bullet holes, but I feel like that's the wrong word for that. You just line it up with the bullet holes when you've done shooting your 22, And you just pop that puppy out and it flies right out. Which is pretty neat. Um, I've, I've had very little actual experience with these types of pistols. Um, most of the pistols I have are magazine fed and I think it's just the sign of the times we're kind of moving more away from revolvers and I think it's a real shame I, I really like revolvers and um, I have a blast with them so that's kind of like the big stuff about the pistol if, if you're looking for one um, 
on how it shoots and how I feel about it. I took it to the range two afternoons, two afternoons and shot a few bullets through it and I think this this one this one shoots amazing um, exactly how you'd expect it to uh, it's iconic it's fun single action pistols are fun you know why because it makes you feel like a freaking cowboy okay you're going to the range and you just pow you know and then you have to flip that thing up and you load them up and then it's single action so I mean you can do that with a double action pistol, but you don't have to. And I think it's a mental thing. When I took this one out, I took several other revolvers out. And this one was different because it was just... Like I said, it makes you feel like a cowboy for some reason. And there's no logical rhyme or reason behind any of that. Uh, but it is what it is. So that was fun. And always a blast. It's hard to beat shooting a 22 or a 22 long rifle or a small caliber pistol at some steel and just enjoying yourself. And that's what I did. I had a blast with it. Um, in terms of practicality, what you'd really use this pistol for, um, uh, this one this one itself, probably a collector's piece. It's pretty old but and, and a little outdated in terms of usability just because it's single action and uh, the way you load and unload is just not the most practical in this day and age. Um, not saying it's not fun and not saying it's not cool, but in practicality speaking, you can you can do a lot better. Um, but what this could be used for, this 22 Magnum, it could be used for like uh, small varmint shooting and just overall plinking gun. So I mean, something you can carry around on the farm, and if you see a groundhog or a squirrel or a rabbit or a snake or whatever, you can shoot it. And 22 is great for that. I mean, it's that's the go-to cat. When I squirrel hunt, that's I use 22. So that's definitely something you can do and something you can use and something I would recommend it for. Um, and then also, like I said, the planking. Just go have fun with it at the range. Take care of your pistol. Make sure you clean it, especially if you have an older version, and be careful with it. Don't carry it loaded because, of, like I said before, that transfer bar is not in there. Um, they, they came out with them for 20 years without the transfer bar. So I'm not saying it's a guaranteed it'll fire, but just be careful with your pistol. And I think that most people are. Most people try to be and most people are smart, but you always gotta, you always gotta let them know. Just be careful. Alright, so in terms of if you could pick it up, I would definitely recommend it. I know I will always probably recommend you pick up a firearm because no matter how bad the firearm actually is, having a firearm is better than not having a firearm if you can afford it. Um, but this is definitely something unique and a piece of history that I think everybody should have the ability to own and should definitely consider owning. If you have, like, if you stumble across it at a gun show, especially older models, um, some and a question I pose to the people watching the video. Um, this model right here does not have um, indents where the or where the bullets are chambered on the cylinder. Um, a lot of the models I were looking at, even the older models, had indents. This one is just no indents up here. What does that mean um, in terms of age? How can how can you accurately date this pistol? Um, the and I'm I'm looking for an answer because I honestly don't know, and I'd I'd love to hear about it. Because this is, like I said, an old pistol, and it's something I'd love to know more about. So, I'd love to hear it. But in terms of shooting it, it's a blast. So, I hope you guys got some benefit out of the video. Like I said, I know it wasn't the most in-depth and the most technical review video I've ever done. But, I just wanted to get it out there that this thing is a blast and super fun to shoot. So, I appreciate everybody for watching. Go comment down below. Um, something informative or some, how, however you feel about the video. I'm sure you'll comment something. People love to comment, especially on older videos. They really like to, they really get buttered for so much stuff. Um, and like and subscribe too. We just hit 2,000 subscriptions, so that's freaking awesome. I love you guys. I love the support I get. I love hearing from you, and I love answering comments. The people that comment on all my videos, I notice. And I, I remember every single one of y'all, and it just 
means the absolute world to me. So, I appreciate it. So, I think that about does it, guys. As always, take someone outdoors, and I will see y'all next time.